friends, welcome back to She's In Her Apron. Today, we're gonna tackle the Monica closet. Uh-huh. And today's video is sponsored by Olipop. It, it is a delicious soda, yes. I said soda. I haven't had soda in a long time. So I'm gonna be bringing you a really yummy, uh, healthy, like good for your body soda. I know, sounds weird, right? It's delicious. Uh, I'll be sharing them on my snack later. All right, but first, we are going to tackle the Monica Closet. Why is it called the Monica Closet? Remember Friends? The episode where Chandler's like, what is in this closet? We've never seen inside this closet. Monica kept a big secret. She had a, like a junk closet like this and she's a neat freak. So it's hilarious. So now I call it the Monica closet. I am just going to start to pull everything out, um, put some of the things on the tables. There's some boxes in here. Some are decor. Um, there's a lot of decor in here. There's some blankets and pillows. There's things from cleaning out the car. There's some tools, I'm seeing sports gear. Um, I'm gonna take everything out, put it on the table and the floor. There's one way that I want to use and utilize this space. In our storage unit, um, we have a storage unit that's holding all of our decorations and some other things of ours um, from the move. And in there I have some food storage, more food storage that I need to bring over. A lot of our number 10 cans, like veggies. I have chicken in there and beef, like, uh, freeze-dried that I want to bring out of storage and here because if we need it It's gonna do me no good in storage, right? Um, especially if we lose power and, and things like that Anyway, that's the last of the food storage that needs to come here and I thought that we could um, Put the boxes in here and utilize it. I'm hoping I can get it done today But I might be taking you along tomorrow filming. I don't know. We'll see this could be a one-day project It could be a two-day project, but here's the thing if you know you have the time to tackle something like this, that you could get it done in a day or two, okay. If you know it's something that you're not gonna have time to do, especially if, I don't know, if you work outside the home, um, if you have itty bitties that you take care of, your babies, and you just know you can't do it in a day, I want you to do this in bites, okay? You're gonna do like 20 minutes one day, 30 minutes one day, 15 minutes, whatever your schedule allows, but whatever you take out, make sure you're able to put back, okay? So I know I'm going to be creating a big mess today, but I have today to do it, so hopefully I can get this all done today. But again, small bites if you can't tackle this in a day, okay? All right, well, you just gotta dive right into it, right? Right, okay, let's dive in. <laughs> meal bag that hasn't been used that says Thai peanut chicken low three to four hours what the what this is all keepsake of Derek and I's and old school film from the beginning of our marriage with uh, Callie I'm not sure if I want to move that out or not because we didn't have it in storage for a reason all right I'm gonna take a time out have a little meeting with Derek and discuss this is what came out that's our solar generator and the panel for that. Here's the dining room table. I think that's a donate bag of clothes, some winter gear. Ugh. Yeah, all this. Pillows, blankets that are like seasonal. Ugh. I'm not having fun right now, but in the end, yeah, it'll be all worth it. All right, the kids are making a snack, so 
you might hear them. But, okay, Derek and I had a meeting in the closet. We're gonna keep the keepsake things here. Those are buckets from um, the beginning of our marriage. So we have our big bin of photos. Um, which I'm going to be going through because I have a goal. Remember when we moved in, I had a goal to get more pictures up. So I want access to that. We need to utilize this space for our food storage stuff and then put some of the bags of blankets on top. What we're going to do is we don't have access to the truck right now. I could bring the boys with me to the storage unit with my car, but then we'll be making multiple trips. So we're going to go to the storage unit much later today um, when it's back and um, do that. And all we have to do is just come in and place them here. Um, but I do need to go through some of those buckets as well, some of those boxes, and just make sure that those cans are current and all that. So in the meantime, we could go through all the stuff and sort through it. So I'm gonna make piles of keep, throw away, and donate. But I'm hungry, so let's have that snack right now to give me the mojo to keep going. Okay, and it turned out to be lunch because it is lunchtime and we made Cafe Rio sweet pulled pork yesterday for dinner. So that's what we're having for lunch. So it's sweet pulled pork. Oh, it's so good. I have a recipe on this video if you want to see it. And then I made cilantro lime dressing. Also, I sometimes put black beans and pinto beans in there as well. Um, but this is my lunch. I'm excited to wolf that down. I'm so hungry. But to wash it all down with, I'm having some Olipop. This is the soda that was sent out to me, which I was so excited about because I have heard of it. It's a, like a healthier version of soda. It's It supports digestive health, and I was really intrigued by this. So um, I'm now the tough part is picking which one I want with lunch today. Okay, so some of the flavors are Vintage Cola, one of my favorites. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know I love my soda. I love my cola oh my gosh and classic root beer actually um yes i love this one but the classic root beer is so delicious i'm loving this one so this is what they call sparkling tonic and this is their orange squeeze and then we have ginger lemon this one is so good and then strawberry vanilla and the boys like the cherry vanilla. So a single regular soda has over 40 grams of sugar. And of course, you know, the diet sodas have aspartame, which is so not good for you. Um, so Olipop is a better alternative and doesn't contain any aspartame, refined sugars or artificial dyes, flavoring or sweeteners. So this is a much tastier version than most sparkling waters. And cool fact is that Olipop is the only soda on the market that incorporates fiber as an ingredient. Olipop has has prebiotics, not probiotics. Prebiotics are specific fibers that feed the probiotics, the good bacteria in our guts, and no natural flavoring, which is fantastic. So that like drew Derek and I's attention with this. So that, one of the reasons why we were super excited to try it. So in this Rupert, there's only two grams of sugar and nine dietary fiber. Um, you could get them in a 12 pack with the, these flavorings. We've already had the other six and have enjoyed them. So, okay, do I want the root beer or the ginger with lunch? This is a toss up. Okay. Oh, or the cola. I'm feeling like cola. I'm gonna go with the cola. This is a tough choice, but I can have the root beer tomorrow. So I wanted to share Olipop with you guys. I was super excited about it. You know I love my soda and my sparkling waters. So I have a link for you. It's also down below. Just click on that. And if you use my code APRON, you'll get 15% off their variety pack, which is this. So you'll get 12 of those to try. Super good deal. I really think you'll enjoy them. I am picky when it comes to sparkling water, but honestly, this tastes like a soda but with all the added benefits, and it's a big deal for me. I would not have shared this with you if I didn't believe that this was absolutely yummy. I, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of a snob when it comes to this stuff, but uh, I'm loving it. So, all right, I am having my cola. Oh, yeah. I love that sound, by the way. That's like the best sound in the world. And I'm going to have my Cafe Rio Sweet Pulled Pork. So I'm gonna have this and then we'll get going on sorting through everything, the tough job. I am so full from lunch, you guys. It was so good though. Okay, this is Shaylee's kit. It's to build like a house thing. So that. Which color is it? Um, I don't know. Are you keeping these 
Earmuffs? Yes. Okay, those go in your closet. Oh, ow. Sorry, an extension cord. Derek's gonna want this. These are jeans that need to be returned to American Eagle. Um, I have a lot of things I need to return to the stores. So I'll make sure that gets in there in the bag. Shaylee, does this jean jacket vest still fit you? Okay, one laundry basket done. Oh, I could use this bag. Ooh, okay, these were from the Learning Center um, where I get all our homeschool stuff, Lakeshore Learning Center. So I could use them for donating bags. In this bag, red solo cups. Yes, we do need those. Those go back in the pantry. Something stinks in here. Like, oh, socks. That's fantastic. Oh, here is my hat. I've been looking for this hat. I like to wear this hat to the beach and stuff, and I wanted to take it to North Carolina with us, but I couldn't find this hat. All right, actually, I'm gonna use this black bag now that I'm done going through it for the garbage and use these for the DI, anything I come across. Okay, I'm gonna start going through these boxes because anything that can go to storage, I wanna be ready for, for when we're ready for the truck. Oh, these are all my old videos. You know, VHS's. <laughs> oh man. Okay, we do have a VCR. I'm gonna have to go through this. A lot of this is keepsake sake stuff that I moved over to video. So that I definitely wanna keep here. I don't want it to get ruined in storage. The Boston Driver's Handbook, the Big Dig Edition. <laughs> Derek got this, I think, while he was on his mission. Uh, basically, if you want to drive in Boston, it teaches you how. I think that's hilarious. I'm gonna have Derek look through this one, because I think this could go back to storage, but I'm gonna have him look, because it is his stuff. These are notes that I've taken from a lot of classes I've taken. I've been wanting to reference some of them lately, so I don't know. Oh, I don't know. A lot of you have asked me the classes that I have taken before. Um, that I mentioned them a long time ago. They were through a company called Three Key Elements and their Art of Mentoring class. This is the best class. And I definitely want to take it again. Like, it helps when parenting, it helps just communicating with people, how to release emotion. It's just so good. I'm gonna hold on to these and I'm gonna put them in the laundry room under the counter where all the homeschool stuff is. I have to reorganize that anyway because I've been wanting to reference back to these and I thought they were in the storage unit. folding bins to the DI. I love this. I love this. But it's, I don't want to get rid of it, but oh, I love this. And then these are all the picture frames that need pictures in them that I've been trying to order. So these have to stay here. And I need to hurry and make that order. This is all picture frames too. Okay, these black ones I was keeping, they need to get put in the kids' room. They're their personalized picture of the savior that Oma gave to them. And then these ones, Derek has to make a decision on here. So when he comes down here, I'll have him do that.
went to the storage unit, as you saw. When we packed the She's in Her Apron home, we just put all the number 10 cans in boxes like this and they're falling apart. So we have these really nice boxes that we got from the cannery, the church cannery. So some things we went through and we couldn't keep. We just weren't rotating fast enough. We've been really just diving in more into our long-term food storage in the past few years and learning how to rotate it. And so a lot of this stuff we got the beginning of our marriage and didn't know what we were doing. So a lot of stuff still has 30 years left that we just need to rotate and use in the next six years. And I'm gonna be giving some stuff to Callie and Felix. So we're gonna use some of these boxes to put what's in here in there because they'll just stack better. That's so much nicer. I do want the sugars on top because um, I need to go through those in the next six years, no problem. And Cece's go wondering what's going on. <laughs> and if you haven't watched, I think it was the second to last video from this one, we introduced Cece to the family. She was great grandma Hughes's sweet dog and so we all, the family has adopted her and she's fitting right in and she's just so sweet. Oh, she's a doll. In this box is some of my Thrive Life and I do have a link for this down below. Um, this is where I get a lot of my freeze-dried vegetables and milk. So I have a lot in here and I want to get these in the food storage room on top um, and get those with the rest of the Thrive. Just want to show you some of the things that I got. These are green beans, instant black beans, green chilies, apple slices. I love apple slices. Cheddar cheese. This is a rich chicken gravy. Onion slices. Instant refried beans. Ground beans beef, chicken slices, yeah, so fun. And this is instant brown rice, corn. So here is some of my long-term food storage. It's from Morning Moose. Uh, my in-laws got this for us. We figured out the year, it was 2011. Well, it could have been before 2011, but we did, because it doesn't have on these cans, like, <laughs> when it was batched, basically. I went on their website but couldn't find anything. So um, we did the math of when they bought it for us and I just put 2011 on the cans. Like I put two years after that just in case they were um, made like two years before. So we've already got 10 years on the cans and they have a 25 year shelf life. So we'll rotate these in into our long term food storage going into our short term food storage. So we have potato shreds. I have three, no, four of that. Uh, potato pearls, and there is two, four, six, seven of those. Some honey powder, two, three, five honey powders, four uh, cross-cut celery, red and green bell pepper mix. We have four of those. Two buttered powders, uh, let's see, two beef bouillon and three chicken bouillon. We have a page. Uh, two cheese blends, one dried egg product, whole eggs, and three chopped onions. So we're gonna get these in those white boxes and stack them in the closet. I'm gonna start using these, um, like the cheese blend. You can make macaroni and cheese with that. Um, your celeries and um, vegetables, you rehydrate them basically, and then you can throw them into your dishes and things. So I'm gonna be starting a series on this. It is coming, I just gotta get organized, and that is what I'm doing. So I reboxed all that stuff, put a label on top, and wrote on the sides. And then I have here from Four Patriots freeze-dried beef, freeze-dried chicken, and there's 68 servings in each. So all that is out of the food storage. Uh, all that is out of our storage unit, and our storage unit was climate controlled, so that's nice. So now I've just got to, um, I'm gonna go grab a pa uh, paper and pen, or maybe I'll just put it in my phone. I'm gonna lose it. Um, I'm gonna go into the notes section of my phone 
and write down everything that I have and then create a spreadsheet for it later. Some of the generator stuff here, I just wanna make sure with Derek if that's where he wants it. I have the pitcher bins down here, the decorations and the candles here. That is filled with wrapping paper and the picture frames are back there. Those are the videos. So that corner is done. The hard part is, is I don't have a lot of closet space in my linen closets already maxed out and we have no room in our closets. So I do have to make this work. So I got to figure that out. All right, I am done. Now the vacuum can go back in. This is where I can keep my camera lights. So we have all the keepsake stuff in the corner and the decorations here and then pillows and then our occasions comforters so for like fall and winter there and then a fan the box pictures and then all the food storage here Derek's bag that he takes to game night and all our generator stuff here umbrellas and Derek's tools. My lights have a home instead of just being in the corner of my kitchen and the vacuum is back in its home. So I believe I totally made this closet pop and it feels so good. We've got to take this stuff to storage so I'm gonna have to do that. But this bag and these three bags are all DI, all going to the DI. So I am super excited about that. Well, friends, it's the next day. I totally forgot to pick up my camera and share that with you. So it is done. Everything has a home. I am so happy. All the winter gear is still on the floor right here. I just gotta put it in a bag and I'm gonna put that in there. Actually, no, I am not gonna put it back in there. I'm gonna put it in the kids' rooms. They're gonna come pick out of this pile and put it in their room because Shaylee already has a bin in her closet. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, friends, I encourage you to make something in your home pop, if it's your Monica closet or a drawer, anything. I would love to know what you're gonna work on to make it pop, make it better. Progress over perfection, right? Oh, this feels good. This feels so good. And in time for back to school. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining me. And don't forget, tell me what you're leaving in the comments below. All right, friends, we'll see you later. Bye.